What's up, y'all? It's another episode of the Bulls 2K15 My GM Series NBA 2K14. If you followed the previous episodes, you know Hall of Fame is giving me a good beating. But I told y'all I wasn't going to give up. So I'm still trying to get it done, trying to find out how to win, man. Uh, man, it's not it's not nice. It's not nice out here. So we're taking on the Bucks on the road. See, we already wanted two, but before I do anything, I got a phone call from the general manager of the Dallas Mavericks. He wants the deal. He wants Zach Levine and Nikola Miritich for Dirk Nowitzki and Sean Marion. Now, I look at Dirk Nowitzki, and I'm like, okay, we need some more scoring. Him and Miritich would be nice, but they want Miritich. So I make a count off. I say, okay, you can get Levine, but I give you Taj Gibson because I'm assuming, you know, Nowitzki's going to take his place. And y'all got to also understand, too, I'm desperate right now. I'm just trying to find some kind of a lineup, uh, you know, something. Yeah, and Nowitzki's old. He's 36 years old because we're already a year past, you know, reality right now. So, you know, I don't know. I decided to go ahead and do this trade. I had to throw in a first-round pick for 2016 draft. I just decided to let's go ahead and do it because I need to do something with this team to switch some stuff around and uh, hopefully to try to make some sort of impact. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm at my wits end, man. Okay, so the fans, uh, they love my recent acquisition of Dirk Nowitzki. Where do I see him fitting in with the team? Well, obviously, he's a great player. And an instant starter. Don't ask me nothing else stupid. You don't have to worry about me talking to you this way. Everybody likes this. Dirk Nowitzki, Derek, no Derek Rose. Everybody. Everybody loves it. Now, because I traded away Zach Levine, I feel like I needed another point guard. Because, as of right now, Derek Rose wouldn't actually have a point guard. So, I figure I'm going to go ahead and get somebody for, like, a little veteran minimum or whatever, right? I continue to overestimate the salary cap, the whole salary structure on NBA 2K14 my GM. It does not function properly. Okay? So here I got Brady Haslip who was in the draft the draft class that I made. He's got like a 51 rating. You understand me? 51. And they talking about he won 890,000 810,000. 810,000 what? Brady, you better get out of here. So I, I couldn't sign anybody. He was like the worst guy. I couldn't sign him. I, couldn't, I didn't have enough money to sign him, according to them. Because all they said I had was like $11. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, put some guys on the trade block and see what I could get, see what offers I got. So I said, okay, with well, a team that offers me a package that has a point guard in it, the best point guard, I'm going to take it. So I got the Etwan Moore package from the, Jazz, uh, the Magic. But I decided to go with this jazz patch that gives John Lucas the third and Rudy Gobert because it also gives Joaquin Noah us uh, a decent backup. So here we are, Hall of Fame against the Milwaukee Bucks on the road. Now we know the Bucks ain't good, right? We know that. The Bucks are not a good team. So one of the things I always I was saying is I don't like the fact that it's like you gotta make people do stuff that they're not supposed to do to make the game hard then that's when I feel like I got a problem. And that's what got me contemplating. Do I want to continue doing Hall of Fame? Because I thought, I'm going to be honest with you, I had a misconception about what Hall of Fame was about. I thought it was like, you know, well, yeah, you know, dudes are playing at the, to the top of their abilities or whatever. They're playing really well. And they don't make stupid passes and they don't do that kind of stuff. I thought that's what it was really about. I didn't know it was like, we're going to turn everybody into Superman. And that's what I'm not feeling, okay? So that's got me contemplating a little bit because I still want to have fun with the game. You know, ain't that the bottom line? And look at that score. Does that look fun? It's not. Losing 10 to nothing already. Derrick Rose trying to draft. Nice little pass off to Joe King though, for the slam. Getting on the board, it took two whole minutes to get our first bucket. So here we are down 18 to 7. And Brandon Knight on the fast break. He finds OJ Mayo in the corner. He hits a long three. 21 to 7. We down two touchdowns already. Down by 10. Ramon Sessions. Drop off pass. We slapped it away. They get the ball back. See, this is the kind of stuff that happens. This is the kind of stuff that happens. John Henson ends up getting the second chance bucket. 27-15. They lead. They're up by 12. 
Here we go, trying to play some good defense. This is Russ Smith of Louisville fame. Down low, Ekpe Udo lays it in though. Up by 14 points. Now, we cut it to eight. Going in the lane, little floater. Who was that, Carlos, Delf Carlos Delfino played like he was uh, just out of his mind in this game. Here we are, gets the block, but they get the ball right back, lay it in. We down by 15 points, down by 14 here, 52 to 38. Ramon Sessions, no, look at this. Ekpe Udo with the European Euro step. Ain't nothing, he ain't never did nothing European in his life. Down 15, Russ Smith again, hits the bucket. You see all these highlights, most of them is who? Not us, right? Not us. Down by 19, Derrick Rose moving, gets the ball back out, pump fake the, by Rose. He's looking, trying to shake this man off. Oh, with the move. Oh, nice crossover, fade away. Good. That's about the best thing. Best thing that happened. After that, you see the whole world blew up, right? The whole world blew up. We ain't doing nothing. So I, I had to make the change. I had to make the change. I played around with it. I even stopped the game and went to the exhibition, you know, whatever, quick game. And I said, man, let's see what we can do to change this up. Because I, I just couldn't do it no more, man. I'm sorry. Hope I ain't letting nobody down. I switched it off default and put it on simulation to make sure that that was right. Uh, I'm switching around my timeout substitution things. I, I, you know, I say, well, you know, I let the computer control my substitutions and all of that. You know, I let them control that. Uh, you know, just try to make it as, you know, realistically challenging as possible. Because I'm playing, I'm telling you, I'm playing the Bucks, and they were playing like they was like the '91 Bulls or something. It was ridiculous, man. So here we are in this next game against Luol Dang and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hopefully. This is real basketball and not Justice League of America basketball league because I don't know what in the world that was. Because I I don't know, man. Y'all might say whatever y'all want to say, but I, I I had to be honest. I had to be up front. That was crazy. Hall of Fame is nuts, okay? And Dirk Nowitzki shoots the three. No good. Lays it in. Sean Mayer. No, Sean Mayer missed it. Missed a bunny. That turns into a fast break for Kyrie Irving and look. We down by one point. Okay, down by one point. Six minutes left in the first quarter. Can't panic over that. Derrick Rose with the nice pass to Jimmy Butler. He makes a long jump shot. Should have been a three. We up by four. Now we up by three. 23 to 20. That pass was made by uh, Dante Exum. He actually ends up with the Cavaliers. They would never draft him, I don't think, but that's what they did. We end up getting the steal. Kim English, the pass ahead to John Lucas. John Lucas with the nice pass to Joe King. Noah lays it in. We up by three. Up by four here. Look at this play. Get that out of my house, boy. Woo, did you see this block? Oh my God. Adrian Payne slapped Kyrie Irving, shot off the glass. Like it was just something that somebody brought in his house. He did not want. Off the screen, jump shot from up top. Derrick Rose hits it. We up by five. Fast break. Derrick Rose looking. You got Jimmy Butler on the wing. Jimmy Butler running the floor. Two hand slam, lays it in. Up by 12. 52 to 40. Now, now the lead is eight, another bad pass, we get the steal. Derrick Rose on the fast break. Derrick Rose is a little tired, that's why he's not dunking. Lays it in, up by 10. Here we are in the, in the third quarter. Deion Waiters pulls it back out. He gives it to Luol Dang. Luol Dang's looking. The pass, oh my God, Anthony Bennett with the little spin move. That was the slowest spin ever, but he did it. We are by eight, 68 to 60. Jared Jack with the little pass down low to Spencer. Oh, oh. He puts it in. They're, uh, we're only up by six. Up by nine here. The pass. Look at this. Chris Johnson back outside the road from three. Nobody within sight. He hits it. We're up by 12. Down by, uh, they're, they're down by eight right now. Dante Exum driving to the basket with the little floater. No good. Rebound. Anderson Verizon. Cuts it to six. They stand in the game. They're staying right there. Now they're only down by five, but we get the steal. Here comes Derrick Rose, and oh my God, Luol Deng, why did you jump? Luol Deng, look at him. I don't know what I did. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. I was wrong. I was wrong. He shouldn't have did it. He really shouldn't have did it, because look at this. I'm on fire. Live wire. Woo. Put it down on him. Up by only four, though. They are doing some things, and Luol Deng getting his revenge. Goes to the bad basket, hard lays it in off the glass. The game is tied now. Under four minutes left in the game. But look at the Visky with the block on uh, on Kyrie Irving's drive. But dang, gets it back and knocks it in. We down by three. 
under a minute left, game tied in 93. There it throws with a good pass to Jimmy Butler. Butler is going to go to the free throw line, and he's going to be clutch the same way he was in game three against the Washington Wizards. No, not the same. You missed the free throw. Now you're leaving things open, Jimmy. So now Jimmy's at the line, hits this free throw. Game, uh, we're up by one, 94 to 93. Under 12 seconds remaining. Gives the ball to Kyrie Irving. It's real clustered over there. It's real crowded over there, Kyrie. He loses the ball, gets the ball back. Nikola Mirotic passes it. Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose ices the game on the free throw line and we finally win a game. The object, the point is to win the game. Is that not why you play? Is that not why you play? 96 to 93, we win. Now, I, I'm, I don't want to set this up to the point where I win like every time. And that was a relatively close game, obviously. And, you know, Rose went off 20.16 assists, five rebounds, three steals. I mean, he had a good game, right? Kyrie Irving had a good game, too. You know, but I want to keep it balanced. You know, I want the, that there to be a possibility that I lose the game. I actually kind of felt like I got a little complacent in that game. So even though that one was close, I still had to go back and look at these sliders. Still had to be like, okay, is everything what it needs to be here? You know what I mean? You know, do we need to change anything? So I made whatever adjustments I needed to make. And we're going to step into this game. And I, I'm going to kind of use this one as the prove all game. The prove all game. And I'm going to say this before I even show you what's happening in, in, you know, from the beginning to the end of this game. I'm going to make a decision that the rule is going to be 10 games in a row. So if I win 10 games in a row, then I got to bump up the difficulty again, either by sliders or just taking the joint all the way up. I ain't going to never play on Hall of Fame again. I don't care if I beat, start beating the superstar by 40 points a game. I probably will never play. I don't know. I ain't gonna say that, but we'll see. Well, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that like that. We're gonna, you know, start it off. If I win ten games in a row, it's time to bump it up. But Darren Williams hits that jump shot, ties the game up at six. Here it is. We're up by six points here. Joe Johnson. We playing the Brooklyn Nets. I'm sorry I didn't tell y'all that, but you can see the steal by John Lucas the third. Lucas drives it in, lays it in off the glass. Up by eight, 18 to ten. Now up by four. Missed shot on the Brooklyn Nets end. Fast break. John Lucas the third hits to Jimmy Butler. Butler is balling. Butler's balling. But all of a sudden the game is tied at 25. Derrick Rose a wild pass. Ends up getting stolen. Turns into a fast break opportunity. Paul Pierce can still dunk. Yes, he can. Puts it in. And the Nets are leading 27 to 25. Up by one, the Nets are here. Pump fake by KG. Down low to Mason Plumley. I almost said Miles Plumley, but it's Mason. It's Mason. 45 to 42 now. Brooklyn leads. Up by two at the end of the first half. Jeff Teague, not Jeff Teague, Marquise Teague, the one that's not that good. Down low pass. Oh, look at that pass right there. We had to show you that. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. But we're losing 52 to 48 at the half. We need to shut something down. Now they're up three, 56 to 53. Now they're up five, 58 to 53 after the layup by Kevin Garnett. But here we are playing defense. Jimmy Butler is balling. I told you, Jimmy Butler's balling. The steal turns into the fast break. Two hand slam, cocking it back, throws it down, cuts the lead down to 64 to 61. We right in this now. The lead is only one. Teague with a good pass down. I right, I can't front on. Good pass, made it. 75 to 72. Missed the shot here. Bulls with a chance to cut the game down to one or to tie it up. Derrick Rose has risen up above Paul Pierce. Look at this nastiness. That is pure filth. That is the filthiest thing ever. But what's nasty is we down by five. 92 to 85. Brooklyn with the ball. Not stopping the ball. Not stopping the ball. You got to stop ball. You got to stop ball. And we're already down 11 with 123 123 remaining in that jump shot there by Darren Williams turns into the backbreaker. And we lost by 12. 105 to 93. Now, I'm not, okay. I don't like to lose ever, right? But I can take that loss. I can take that loss. And the reason why I can take that loss is because I don't feel like the team I was playing against was like Superman. They played better. They, You know what I mean? It's a. It was a good challenge. It was a good challenge. I lost. I could have won. 
I lost. Okay, I can get, I can deal with that. I'm not trying to set it up so I can win every game, but you know what I'm saying. So I, I can feel that. So I think right about now I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place, even though this episode was one and two record, I, and I'm only one in five in a season. It's still I'm in a good place. So y'all subscribe, follow, peace.